Welcome back to the Natty Daddy Experience. Ooh, ooh. Hey, man, there's this pretty intense story happening in North Braddock, Pennsylvania. On Sunday, during a church service at Jesus Dwelling Place Church, things took a scary turn. A man jumped in front of the pastor, Pastor Glenn Germany, with a gun, apparently trying to shoot him. Luckily, the gun jammed, and Pastor Germany managed to escape unharmed. The church live streamed this service, so they actually captured the whole thing on video. Check this out. In a whole different kingdom than God. And God had chose. Jesus. Jesus. Pastor Germany said he never seen the gunman before or he never noticed him coming in and out of the church. He never even made eye contact with him. But then during the service, the man suddenly appeared at the front of the church uh, with a gun and aimed it at the pastor. Church members sprang into action and one brave man tackled the gunman disarming him. Kudos to you. Uh, Pastor Germany called this man a hero, saying he could have lost his life in the struggle, but chose to protect everyone else. Now, the suspect has been identified as Bernard Polite, 26, of Braddock, or Braddock Pennsylvania. I don't know if I'm, I'm saying that right, but you get the point. You can't trust a nigga named Bernard and Polite in the same sentence, or anybody with the last name Polite. But anyways, Mr. Polite, he confessed to the police that he tried to shoot Pastor Germany because he believed God told him to do it. He also mentioned uh, he wanted to go to jail to clear his mind. And what's crazy about this whole story, bro, is that evening a body was found in Mr. Polite's home. Yeah, he killed somebody. This dude was his relative named Derek Polite, a 56-year-old man, all right? The neighbors described both Bernard and Derek as nice people with no history of trouble. See, you never know who you're living next to, man. Yeah, so Bernard got arrested that next day, and he's being charged with an attempted homicide, and, you know, they, they looking into the body that was found at his house. So really right now, no charges been filed with the body yet. And uh, yeah, man, that's some crazy ish. It's bad enough we had these white shooters going into these black churches and killing people because they said God told them to do it. Now you got this coon buffoon Negro doing the same thing they was doing, man. Is life that bad where you really want to go to jail to clear your mind? Instead of going like on a nature trail walk or to the park or to the beach. Y'all get in the comments and drop y'all two cents. Let me know what y'all think about this. Peace.